So I have a special guest here in the background with me, Joe DiMaggio, some of you might recognize, AKA Marilyn Monroe's husband for a minute. Um, I am doing a whole array of baseball legends that I'm gonna be placing in sports bars on the East Coast, West Coast. Um, it's hard for us artists to always get into formal galleries and what better way to connect to the baseball public than get into the places where they all hang out, which is not galleries, but sports bars. So anyways, I'm really excited about that. Um, just some things that inspire me to even do these individuals. Um, for one, I used to be an athlete um, back in college. I got a full ride scholarship to Duke University and I didn't go as far as some people thought I was gonna go. And that was due to injury and just putting a lot of strain on my body. I just wasn't cut out for it in the long run. And so I think I live vicariously through those people that I seen on Instagram that I used to race with. They're off in the Olympics and you know other athletes I know, I kind of live vicariously through them um, with my art. And that's how I'm enriching the athletic community and the appreciation for these people. Um, I also really love baseball movies. Um, one of my favorites is Angels in the Outfield. Um, I kind of tear up every time I hear that little foster kid say, it could happen. Um, it's just like one of those winsome moments, you know, like that you subconsciously yearn to be a kid again and have that um, whimsicality and believing in miracles, you know? And, you know, his older friend was the one that saw the angels, the, the, the little kid, he didn't see the angels, but he, he believed in his friend. And they were all trying to convince the adults around them that they could see, you know, that his friend could see the angels. So I just kind of long for that, you know, being an adult, you know, you hope to retain some of that there. And that's why that scene captures my attention so much. Um, I also really like A League of Their Own. There's many great scenes in that movie. Uh, one of my favorites is when Dottie and her sister Kit, um, they show up to tryouts and they're talking to Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell's character and Kit is like, so are all these girls gonna make it? And Madonna is like so snobby. She's like, oh, you wish. Some of y'all are gonna have to go home. And then Rosie throws a fastball at Dottie and she catches it right away. And Madonna like eats her word. She's like, okay, well, some of them are going home. <laughs> That's just like such a great part. Um, I also really like the movie Bull Durham. I saw it last year for the first time, such a classic, um, which also happens to be filmed in the, the, uh, the town where my college was. And uh, just full disclosure, I had a major crush on a baseball player that went to my college. Um, pretty much all my friends know who he is, but I'm not gonna give away his jersey number or where he got drafted. I think you guys have better things to do with your time anyway. Um, but yeah, he was, it's just amazing. Like the people that are cemented in you early on, you know, and, and that lead, that they have an impact on you. I just, I just think we, we create a lot of our nostalgic moments when we're younger. And he was like my first really, really, really big crush. And I've seen many handsome men go by in my life, but nothing compares to him. <laughs> and, um, so just as an artist, I appreciate beautiful things and beautiful people. So yeah, that's, that's what I think of when I think back to college and baseball. And when I was watching Bull Durham, I was like, oh, I had my own little Bull Durham going on, but I was not, I was not a groupie. I was not um, sleeping around like that one girl. <laughs> um, I also really like For Love of the Game also starring Kevin Costner, who is still a tall glass of water to this day. Wow. Um, I've had that quote on my Facebook forever. It's um, when, she, when she tells him, you can win or lose the game all by yourself. Like that's so true to life because 
being an entrepreneur, you have to just do a lot of things on your own and be a self-starter, you know, that's how you get things done in life. And just coming from a self-employed family, like my dad, he had to earn all of his income within four months out of the entire year for a family of six. So I grew up with this hustle mentality since childhood. You know, I definitely wasn't one of those, one of those uh, little girls riding her bike around a cul-de-sac in the summer. I was up in Alaska fishing with my dad. So I think that's what inspires me to do baseball and just my admiration for these athletes and these people that just had such a great impact on the American culture and um, people's childhoods. So I will keep everyone up to date on uh, other people that I'm doing, including Joe. I have uh, Cal Ripken Jr., uh, Ken Griffey Jr., who is in downtown Seattle right now. I have Derek Jeter, who I just got into New York City, Hank Aaron, and Mickey Mantle. So those are some of my guys, and I will be showing them online soon.